I honestly, I'm I'm so happy with how far from heaven translates live. Really, really love playing that song live. It's like everyone listens to that fucking song because like those choruses, you hear everyone doing it. It's just like the record. It's really cool. What's up, guys? Joe Bad here from Fit for an Autopsy. My top three records. Ooh, uh, Worship and Tribute by Glass Jaw. Tear from the Red, Poison the Well. And you can always go Slipknot, uh, Iowa. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Slipknot, Iowa. Hook is my number one. Absolutely. Um, anything with Robert De Niro in it. I mean, The Irishman was really fucking good. I don't know why I'm saying like a newer movie, but out of a, like all the Italian mob movies, that fucking movie rules. But let's bring it back to the classic. Bronx Tale, Reservoir Dogs. There's so many good. I can't. I love like the Italian mobster fucking ones where it's just like that internal family bullshit where it's like, yo, this shit that you guys are doing is fucked up. But like. You guys love each other. It's like a family. It's crazy. It's like a bunch of crazy. I don't know. It relates to my crazy brain. <laughs> Top three video games right now. Elden Ring, uh, Valorant, and I'm not saying Call of Duty because fuck that game. Assholes. I'm just kidding. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Yeah, Call of Duty. Frustration. Oh. Three places I like to hang out. I like to hang out uh, on the beaches and boats with my friends because that's really cool. Um, I, I like uh, I like going to Europe and seeing all the old culture. It's older than this entire country. It's crazy. Uh, it's unreal. And I love going to ice cream shops a lot. <laughs> Um, I mean, sometimes it's weird, but people don't know that I'm a barber. Um, even though I post it all the time, but <laughs> I'm a barber. I got hair. Uh, people call me dad and I'm not actually a dad for just for some reason. That's just dad. Just like that's the name that's been imprinted. So that's weird. I make this noise. That's real sick. No one knew that I could do that. No one thought I was that talented. Oh, top three of hair advices. Um, so for your normal customer, look at a good style that you want and be realistic about the hairstyle that you're trying to get. Because if you're trying to look like uh, um, like Uncle Jesse back in the day, but you have like the curliest fucking hair, be realistic. Find a really cool curly hairstyle that works for you or find something that works a little more natural. Don't go too crazy and try to do something that you can't do. Um I feel like that covered like everything. Like that's like the ultimate tip you ever need from a hair, hair. Anyone who does hairs, find the right person to cut your hair that gives a shit about your hair that actually cares about your image as much as you do. And you'll, you'll know when you feel that connection with that barber, you could trust a quiet barber. Sometimes they're lethal weapons, but usually I would say, don't trust a quiet barber. They're just usually very nervous and are petrified that they're cutting your hair. <laughs> but i think that covers it i it depends you got to catch me on a day i feel like i'm never the quiet one though i feel like once someone walks in i get all riled up i don't know what happens i just get riled up like as soon as i i was so calm and like relaxed until like i got on the facetime with you now i'm all fucking riled up i could punch a <laughs> hole in my wall <laughs> fuck <laughs> there's so many good ones but i don't know if i could say some of them uh showed up to a venue in chicago uh homeless dude started just fucking rapping and just like gave me the sickest bars possible definitely earned the 20 dollars. uh that was awesome being able to just be on tour with all the dudes in trivium was a really big thing for for all of us uh as far as like morale because everyone got along so well and it was so cool and <sighs> i can't do it can't do it to host you. Um, <laughs> seeing all my friends every single day. That's the greatest memory ever is just being able to look back and see that, you know, I was just in California on the beach with my cousin hanging out, drinking a beer, <laughs> you know. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Uh, bands are artists that inspired me growing up. Uh, Michael Jackson, uh, Steve Perry, <laughs> ACDC. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> That stuff so much fun. Top three songs to sing in a car. Uh, Highway to Hell, uh, of course. Um, Horse with No Name. That one's a good one. That's a nice, like, night driver. Share Believe is a great car jam. That was me and my grandma's song. We would belt that shit when I was a kid. It was awesome. I was actually looking at this the other day. Like, I can't believe that we've done this much since I've been in the band. It's a lot. Off the new record, The Man That I Was Not is easily one of my favorite songs that we've done. Napalm Dreams is another huge favorite one of mine. When the Bulbs Burn Out was a really good one for me. I honestly, I'm, I'm so happy with how Far From Heaven translates live. Really, really love playing that song live. It's really cool, especially this whole last tour. It's like everyone listens to that fucking song because, like, those choruses, you hear everyone doing it. It's just like it makes it feel like the record. It's really cool. It's awesome. 